Hello card fighters, and it's been a while since I haven't uploaded a deck profile, but hey, I know Violet Elator is a couple weeks old, and yeah, I got a lot of things going on. I still have to build the deck, and hey, I got all the things I need for Shadow Paladins, and I'm ready to roll. This build is only what I think is in my own focus. You can build the deck whatever you want, just use this as a reference. That's all I can say. So let's get right on to the profile. So first, your star is always gonna be full bow. No questions asked. For grade threes, you run four PBD, considering that you wanna ride him in, to him first, just because you wanna like get rid of your opponent's resources, waste them, and if you're lucky enough to ride him again, waste your opponent's resources again, and then uh, ping them for damage. Just play with your opponent's feelings until they feel dead on the inside. I'm joking. I just love how this card just burns your opponent's resources. And then your other great three is four Gust Blasters. Considering that Gust Blaster is great for both first great three and mid game great three, you still get to sack two of your own rears, pop one of your opponents, draw a card, kind of last one. Just to top it off, but yeah. But the fact that like once you re-ride or ride on to another grade three with Blaster in its name, you pretty much go for like X amount of critical for each unit you retire. Mostly you go into three crits just because you want to like pressure your opponent and make them force them to use a PG if they don't have a PG in their hand. Make them guard with triggers for two to pass or no pass. But either way, this card is really broken and. I say four of him is a good number. And on to the grade two lineup. Four Blaster Darks. Just because you want to ditch a card from your hand just to recycle or refill what you dropped and gain that drive check. Well, it's only happening if, it's, if your opponent has an empty board and yeah. I find running four Blaster, Beads real, Blaster Darks really good is that if your opponent has one or less rear guards, you ditch a card from your hand, hit a giant number for 10 or whatever. Get double crit, get a draw, get a heal, whatever. This card is nasty. Early game. Because your opponent's going to have an empty board. What so? Whatever. And then you got to run four Makas. Four Makas is one thing I would recommend running consider that you call a card from your hand, you draw and gain the 5k. It's still good even with the Dark Bond. Well, Dark Bond is one thing you would want to run, but I find running four Makas good. Dark Bond, it is really good to call out a 5k unit, but still, this is pretty okay. Then you run two Curse Lancers, considering that Curse Lancer, oh, you don't have any Counter Blast for PBD or Gust Blaster. Well, have no fear. I call a card on top, Soul Blast one, Counter Charge one, if I have none, and gain another 10, which is stupid and fun. And then you want to run one Cocked Bond. I don't have space for grade twos, but hey, one Cocked Bond should be okay, considering that once you have your opponent to give an empty board to, you pretty much swing for 3,000, well, 3,000 plus, as long as you have more rear guards than your opponents. And onto the grade two lineup. All right, grade one lineup. Grade one lineup. Four Karens, combo off with Maka. No questions asked. You want to counter charge? Go counter charge. Soul Blast one, just to gain the plus three? Sure. It's really good, considering that you combo off with Maka just to make it a free cost. Well, free counter blast, soul blast one, whatever. You run four in four in the mains. Nah, I can't word today. Four in the mains because you want to like search off that search off itself at the start of the game if you have it in your hand. Search for itself, and you may want to call off Swordbreaker with its skill because the main with Swordbreaker equals you get the plus one. And speaking of sword breakers, you run four sword breakers. Considering that sword breaker helps you draw from deck or hand, 
And then once you call it from hand, it makes it a 10k slapstick, and then you get to draw. And then the last great one is going to be Dagger. Now, normally people would go for Javelin, but I find Dagger really okay because I don't like to deck out on my own because, well, with Shadows, I do draw a lot because of Gust Blaster, Maka, Swordbreaker. Why well, are you going to draw loads with Javelin? But Javelin would be okay to run considering that you get to draw if you have another grade 1 in your rear. But yeah. The reason why I run Dagger is because once you let the attack hit, you shove into your soul and your opponent is forced to retire one of their rears. Now, normally people don't want to run Dagger because, like, well, it's kind of bad since you have to, like, let the attack hit. Or let the boosted attack hit. Well, I think Dagger is really good considering that you get to do a lot of stuff. And onto the trigger lineup. Eight crits. No questions asked. Well, there are going to be some questions asked. I run eight crits because I want to, like, pressure my opponent with giant numbers and big critical. And then you go for the basic four heals. And then I always go for four draws, considering that, like, running five draws does feel okay. I just don't want to go on to, like, a little bit of a defensive area. I just find running eight crits more of, like, offensive and more pressurizing. And that is it for the deck profile video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, if you want to see more Vanguard content. And also, I'll be at Regional Spring Fest for the Toronto one on April 13th and 14th. So, see you guys then.